hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be sharing with you my homemade yogurt from scratch yes we are not using store-bought yogurt we are making our own starter from beginning to the end so let's get right into this recipe because we have a long way to go <laughs> I'll begin by bringing this milk to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to allow it cool down to about 110 degrees. Okay, so here you will be needing some chili peppers and these are the types that I found. You want to make sure that the stem is on it because it will help us make our starter. It doesn't have to look just like this, but any type of chili pepper will do just make sure that it has the stem on it so i just placed it in a bowl and i'm going to add some of the milk to it then i'll go ahead and cover it up and i'll leave it in a warm place for about 12 to 24 hours okay so yeah i'm going to keep this in my oven with the lights on so this is about 20 hours into it and i'm going to check it it is looking good so I'm just going to take out the chili peppers and this is our starter this is what it looks like it looks like it's yogurt only it smells and tastes like chili peppers so we're going to use it to make our first batch of yogurt now I'm pouring milk into my pot right here and you want to use a heavy bottom pot okay and I'm going to go ahead and bring it to a boil now you can stir it or not if you don't stir it you may be left with residues from the milk scorching okay so keep that in mind you may or may not but even if that happens you may strain your milk to get rid of that okay So now that my milk have come to a boil, you can see the steam and the bubbles on top. I'll turn the heat off, place it in a ice water bath, stir, and this should bring it to the right temperature within about five minutes. Okay, so I just keep stirring and checking the temperature. You may use a thermometer, but I use my hand to check it to ensure that it's at the right temperature. As long as it doesn't burn you, it is ready okay at this point my milk is at the right temperature which is about 110 to 120 degrees so i'll scoop some into my yogurt starter mix it well then i'll go ahead and pour it into my milk i'll mix everything well and i'll cover it up and place it in my oven with the lights on and i'll go to sleep <laughs> yes yo i'll just place it in the oven overnight which should be about eight hours undisturbed it's always better to make your yogurt at night because you do not stand a chance of anybody turning the oven on or moving it around okay so yeah if you choose to use store-bought yogurt to make this ensure that it's plain with no flavors and have active live cultures in it okay good morning everyone this is the next day let's check on our yogurt it looks good so i'm just going to scoop some to check it is just perfect our yogurt is nice and ready and it was in my oven with the lights on for about eight hours yes so as y'all can see it is looking nice it's looking creamy with a slight chili pepper flavor it's not overwhelming it doesn't smell like chili pepper it just have a little taste it's not even spicy at all so what we're gonna do is to scoop some and use it in our next batch which should be perfect
For the second batch, I'm just going to follow the same process in heating up my milk. Only this time, I will not be cooling it off in an ice water bath. So you may use a thermometer to check the temperature, but I just put some in my palm. And if it's too hot for my palm to handle, it means it is at the temperature that I'm going for. And when cooling it off, I do the same thing. If my palm can handle it, then it is at the temperature that I'm going for. So you may use a thermometer heat your milk up to about 200 degrees and then cool it off to about 110 to 120 degrees before adding your yogurt starter to your milk now that i have my milk to the right temperature i'll allow it to begin cooling down but as it cools i have to be stirring it periodically to keep a thin film from forming on top of it that will take away from the richness of your milk and you do not want that because if that forms you may want to get rid of it and that's all fat that you need in your milk to give you a nice creamy yogurt you may be wondering why do i have to heat up my milk only to cool it back down the purpose of that is to kill any bacteria that it's in your milk so that it will not disturb your yogurt making process all right let's do our final palm check and our milk is at the right temperature so using some of my previous yogurt i'm going to add some of the milk into it stir it very well pour it into my milk stir everything together until it is well incorporated place it in my oven overnight and we will have our final yogurt tomorrow <laughs> It's another beautiful morning and our yogurt is ready. Now this right here looks amazing. You will not smell nor taste any chili pepper flavor. This is perfect. But don't forget to save some for your next batch of yogurt. Don't jump too into it and finish it up without saving some. <laughs> So I'm just going to store it in some airtight containers, keep it in my refrigerator. And once it goes in the refrigerator, it gets even thicker. So yeah, it's a win-win situation. We didn't even have to buy a starter and we have our homemade yogurt. I sure hope you will try this recipe and let me know how yours comes out out thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini ochemi sweet mahabutu bye y'all